<laughs> I'm so sad. Why are you so sad? No, it's because it's to the it's end. It's almost gone. Yeah, it's almost gone. with another mukbang. Today is another episode of Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. Mukbang is what, Angela? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is mukbang? Oh, it's a cooking show. It's an eating, eating show! show. Uh, I'm sorry, my assistant here did, did not uh, I'm so prepare. I'm excited to eat. She was not prepared for this. So, uh, mukbang is an eating show, so today we are going to be eating together and uh, we are eating. What are we eating today, Angela? It's called a military soup. It's called pudetsige. So in it's Korean, Korean army-based stew, uh, also known as pudetsige, and you can find the recipe in my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook. This is the Yay. vegan version, by the way. I actually think I ate this in uh, previous mukbang, like I think quite a few years ago. So we are back with it today, and it's gonna be delicious. Hopefully, we've got everything kind of prepared in here. We've got some like tofu. We have some rice cakes. We have. We have cabbage, we have onion, king oyster mushroom. We also have some ramen noodles. These are kind of different than the Korean ones. I've never but seen those. This is like a gluten-free, like healthier mm. ramen noodle. We also have enoki mushrooms, kimchi, vegan hot dogs, and the sauce, okay? The magic the is in the sauce. And then we've got a broth here that we're gonna add in. You know what, let's just do this. Yay. Let's do this <laughs> now, hungry. I'm so hungry. So we got, we got this going. I'm scared to use this And one. And what are we also doing today, Angela? We are <laughs> favorite part. <laughs> I swear everyone probably thinks we're alcoholics. <laughs> we're drinking! Yay! Yay! What are we drinking? It's been a while since I drank soju. So, it's been so long since it's I had soju. It's called soju. Kind of tastes like vodka. It doesn't kinda. taste like no? vodka. They call it Korean vodka. I think the only reason why is because, I don't know, it's just a way of explaining it. It's just hard liquor. I just think it's gross. Liquor. It like tastes gross. 20%. Is that normal? I think I was asking you earlier if that was normal. I don't think 20% is, I think that's quite high for for soju. You know, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna touch it. Let's let it come to a boil. Um, it's like 17%, I think, but this one was 20%. Of course, I picked the 20%. <laughs> so they did have the 17%. They did, but I chose the... <laughs> it's more bang for your buck, okay? What's the point of getting the 17 when you can get the 20? They have a bunch of different brands in Korea, too. Uh -oh. A cover, maybe? Oh. Can you get one for me? Ani. You're closer. Ani. I can't... This is like... Fine. Anyway. I need your assistant. <laughs> You're a great assistant. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so if you didn't watch our previous mukbang together, this is my roommate, in case you didn't know. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, That's pretty much it. Can we not, uh, talk for three hours today? Oh my god. <laughs> last well, video. I don't know. It's more difficult for me when we talk forever <laughs> yeah. because my editing process took ten years. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys enjoyed and, uh, you enjoyed having Angela on. Yay. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you for the positive <laughs> feedback. You just never know with YouTube audiences, yes. okay? They Except for my mom. I was telling her. <laughs> so I like link the YouTube videos to my family just because I'm like, I'm on YouTube. And then my mom goes, every time I'm on the video, she's like, why are you not good at filming in front of a camera? She's just making fun of me. And she's just like, you laugh like this. Like, like you put your head all the way back. And I'm like, that's how I laugh. <laughs> this is very typical of Korean yeah, parents not to uh, anymore. criticize. To criticize. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I still love them. And she's just joking, kind of. So <laughs> <I'm> joking. <laughs> Are they joking though? <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god, I hope it's good. This is like a lot. What did you put in here? What is the sauce? Uh, I so can't imitate your accent. <laughs> the sauce? The sauce. The, the, oh, the are, you, sauce. are you trying to talk in British? You, you said it in a way in the beginning. How did I say it? The, the sauce? sauce? The sauce. <laughs> I don't remember now. Let's rewatch the it. Sauce. Anyway, the sauce. The yes, sauce. Yes, the sauce. Well, what's in the sauce? Uh, so it's a mixture of a few things. The typical Korean flavors. Mm. Gochujang, gochukaru. Mm -hmm. There's soy sauce. I mean, do we ever use anything else? That's true. Soy sauce, gochugaru, gochujang, a uh, little oil. bit of sugar, no sesame oil. Oh. There's some other stuff like garlic powder. Mm. I was gonna use minced garlic, but I got lazy, so mm. instead I use garlic powder. Very excited. So this is like, excited. okay, so history lesson. Do you know anything about this? Kind of. What do you I, know? I think he. Stop asking me <laughs> these things because I'm like, you're so good at explaining things. No, but I like, also uh, don't know. Okay, you. I think long time ago. <laughs> 
Okay, no, my dad. Okay, so I, now I remember. Last time I did this video and I was yeah. trying to explain. Yeah. And I, because I don't really know. Yeah. Right. But I was like making shit up as I go, as I yeah. usually do. You yeah. know, I make a lot of things up, guys. <laughs> And then my dad called me after watching this and he was like, you need to explain this properly. Oh this, this, dish, this dish has a very sad history. Anyway, continue. It's when the military, because Korea, it's mandatory for guys to go to the military to serve for two years. <laughs> <laughs> this is a strange start. So anyways, back in the days, long time ago. <laughs> Keep going. When they didn't have much food, they just grab a bunch of things that they had at the site and just put them all together. And that's how it became a military soup. Okay, so that's not true. What? <laughs> well, partially. Okay, what is the real it story? It happened, okay, so. Your dad's gonna hate on me, he's gonna call me and be like, uh. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with the ma mandatory, well, I don't think it has anything to do with the mandatory military service. Well, no, I was talking about but explaining what military was. I, I mean, well, people like, know what military is, <laughs> Angela. Know. How Koreans have to go to military and it's mandatory. Yes, but it has nothing to do I with know, the army base. I know it has nothing to do too. with this. So, <laughs> people are gonna be like, Rose, what? stop bullying Angela. No, it's because um, I can't talk. So in front of a camera. <laughs> so basically, I mean, watch me get this wrong too. So this, I think this came about in during the Korean War when the there was a lot of like U.S. soldiers and soldiers from around the world mm -hmm. basically that were you know that had you know army bases in Korea. So they left a bunch of stuff, you know, because they come from the U.S. So mm -hmm. they had like maybe hot dogs and spam and just like random things. Like sometimes they put like baked beans in here. Mm. So they just kind of like made a stew. Oh, sorry. I should turn my phone off. People get mad at me. Um, <laughs> so they made like a stew from, all you know, all the random left. stuff, which is why there's like random things in this stew. And mm -hmm. you can pretty much throw in like whatever you want, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a mixture of, you know, American like canned goods, mm -hmm. stuff like that with like Korean flavors. So that is, I believe how it came to be, but let me Google this oh first. Oh God. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors and pour some soju? Oh. Oh, which, should we show can them? We, what? Can we have this first? Oh yes, we can have a little. So we have bubbly, our favorite. This like is I'm just not so refreshing. Enough water throughout the day. Really? Yeah. I drink so much. You should keep a bottle oh. in front of you. Oh, something in the cup. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we're starting with the non-alcoholic. <sighs> Preparing our bodies for what's to come. <laughs> Ooh, it's starting to boil a little bit. Mm. I um, <laughs> was talking to my coworkers and they watched the video. The Did last they? Video, and then they were just like. Too much chit chatting. I'm like, we talk a lot. <laughs> and then they're like, God, why is everyone so critical? <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, what did they say? They're like, oh, you guys do is eat and talk. I'm like, that's, that's what the point. Mom <laughs> is. I explained it for 10 minutes, like last time. They weren't listening. <laughs> I know. It's okay. I'm actually. It's okay. So this is like one of those things that, you know, when you know, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to Google this army oh, base. Oh, yeah, too. just Google this while so I anyways. pour. Oh, yes. So, no, but we have to show them the Korean etiquette of pouring drinks. Why am I blanking out? I can't think today. <laughs> What's the Korean etiquette for me pouring for you yes. and you pouring for me? Oh yeah, yes. I know that. It's well, clearly you didn't know. <laughs> okay, look, look, I was right. This dish was invented after the Korean War when the American army was stationed in the city of... Mm. What is this? Ujongbu? Ujongbu. Ujongbu. Near Seoul. They had their own food on the base, things like canned beans, meat, spam, ham, and sausages. This food was totally new to Koreans, so yes. So now this is like very popular. If you go to Korea and if you go to like the bars and stuff, then they'll have this. Mm -hmm. Clearly not gonna be vegan, but right. this is how you make the vegan version. Anyways, gonna show you some Korean drinking. <laughs> By the way, this video is purely just entertainment. Pretend that we're in a, they can pretend they're in a Korean bar with us or something. Yeah. Right? So. This is chamisu. Are we doing like a soju like commercial? I'm like, keep holding. <laughs> and Maybe. what is the etiquette? So the younger person, which is you, which is me, <laughs> pours it for the older person first. Yes, with two hands. With two hands. So in Korean culture, people are like obsessed with. Do I do this? Hierarchy. Well, you don't. You no, I don't. <laughs> Are you Korean? <laughs> I swear you like people hold. I mean, one. you could do that, but you could also like do like this. Okay. I think. Anyway, and then whoever is receiving, so there's like a very like it's a principle of reciprocity. So whoever is receiving the drink has to hold it instead of like you know having it on the table. Mm. So you hold the drink as well. But mm. if you're older, technically, if you're the older person, then you can hold the drink 
the, the mm -hmm. glass with your one hand mm -hmm. but if someone that's pouring the drink for you uh, will we'll, we'll demonstrate so yes. I'm older technically yes. so so Angela is paying respect can you even see guys let me just do oh. this there you go it was covering my face <laughs> oh god <gasps> all right so demonstrating so I'm I'm older Angela is younger so what do you do Angela like this right okay <laughs> Pull it up so people can see. <laughs> so two hands. Basically, one hand is like less polite, essentially, yeah. and two hands is more respect. I kind didn't of. learn this the proper way. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, who cares? I actually, I don't think I've ever actually learned. Like, I don't know the rules behind. It's something that you learn by. People don't really teach you. You just kind of learn as you. I don't know. <laughs> I guess they're just like. Never I'm scared of drinking this. Oh God. Okay, so we have to do one shot. Oh, oh yeah, so that's like one one thing that we do. So okay. when you when you pour the soju to people, everyone has to drink it, and it has isn't to that be the, just the off. first? Isn't that just the just first, the first one, shot yeah. that you have just to bottoms up? Yeah. And in Korea, they call it one shot. So like instead of bottoms up, we say one shot. One Hold shot. On. I need to like okay, so I'm mixing this up mm, now. That looks so good. Okay, good. shall we do a shot? Yes. Oh god, I'm scared. Ah, come back. Should we do come back? Okay, this is like the Korean mukbang. Come back. Oh, that's actually not bad. Mmm. Mm. It's pretty smooth. It's really smooth. I was expecting like the worst. Oh, oh God. You Lord. Hold on. And then the I need like a oof aftertaste. Yes. At this gigantic spoon. <laughs> Find the <a> smaller spoon. <laughs> mm -mm. I think I need. Mmm. Can't wait till this is done. Oh god. I love this soup. And it goes so well yes. with soju, like this thing. Cause like after you drink it, it's you have that aftertaste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But then when you have a little spoonful of this, it's like kind of gets rid of the aftertaste. So, I crave this all the time. Really? Yeah. Oh. I always thought it was a hassle to make, but I it don't is, think it is. It's actually not that hard. You just mm -hmm. have to like cut up some stuff yeah. and then make the sauce. It's really not that hard. We were talking about this the other day, how Korean dishes have this gochujang so we use, in like, everything. Yeah. yeah. And it Red tastes, pepper paste in everything. Red pepper paste in everything, but it yeah. tastes good. Yeah. Every dish tastes a little bit different, which mm -hmm. is really yeah. interesting. Many cultures use like similar ingredients within their culture. Their culture? Yeah. yeah. Like in Italy, garlic, mm. tomatoes, mm. you know. In India. India, they curry. use like those like, curry spices. Mm, so in Korea, it's all about the gochujang and the gochugaru. I wonder what people do if they don't like spicy food. My brothers, like they couldn't eat really? kimchi for the longest time. Oh, when, when they were young. When they were young, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how Koreans deal with not eating spicy food. Exactly. <laughs> like everything is spicy. spicy. I can't stop eating this. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Yay! Mmm. But the stuff is not oh, cooked yet. Um, shall we do wait. another shot? Oh, oh no, I know. <laughs> what were you gonna do? So I asked on uh -oh. Instagram to ask people to get a lot of replies for I don't know for assumptions. So I asked <laughs> if anyone had any assumptions about me and Angela, or you know me <laughs> or Angela. So let's see if anyone responded. Oh God. <laughs> oh okay, I got a few. <laughs> okay, let's start with some. <laughs> okay, so. The first one, you guys secretly eat each other's food. We do it like not secretly. We eat each other's I food. I always eat her food. <laughs> no, I use like your ingredients for stuff. Oh, yeah. So like we, we kind of just share stuff. And then I'll just like ask her, I'm like, can I have a cookie? <laughs> like, and then the thing is like we both ask, but then we do it before the response. Because yeah. we know the response. How did you know that? Because but I also do the same. I'll ask, but then I'm like, I can't wait for this response, so I'm just like, I'm just gonna eat it. Yeah. And we're like, and then after, it'd be like, okay, we'll replenish it. Like, yes. I'll replenish it, and then and I sometimes, it. yeah, it does. <laughs> About fifty percent of the time. <laughs> All right, are we doing a second shot? Yes. Bottoms up. No, let's just okay. sip on it. Cheers. Come back. Come back. This um, is actually really good. Yeah. It's actually very smooth. It is. I feel like we. It's almost done. Okay, we'll wait until this. Rice cakes are done, and then I think it'll be done. Okay. Anyways, but we can have the soup. Mm. Ooh, this is coming together. It's so yeah, good. Yeah. Woo. So yeah, I followed basically the recipe that's in my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook. I basically followed that to the T. So if you follow that, you can make this exactly. This is like four servings, by the way. And we'll eat it all. <laughs> and I feel like we're gonna eat it all. Like, let's be we don't honest. Have rice, though. I'm that's the problem. But 
I feel like it's good that we don't have enough rice because we'll just see this. Oh, well, we have noodles and duck. Duck is rice. Duck. That's such a weird word for the English speaker. Duck. So this is rice cake, Korean rice cake. And in Korean, it's duck. <laughs> it's like if you were <laughs> to say it, duck. Oh, I don't think people can say it. If you were to spell it out, you have to use two T -T. Ds or T -T. T T. Oh, yeah, or two, two or two Ds. Ds. Or two, two it's like duck sokki. Mm -hmm. Try it, guys. <laughs> send her a video. It's such a video. Yes. Send me an Instagram message saying duck. <laughs> I feel like Korean would be really hard to learn if yeah. you were like not Korean. Yeah. I wonder why it is. It's like, so different from English. I think Mandarin's harder though. I heard. Probably. Yeah. But I think like just Asian languages. If you speak English, mm. it would be like I have respect for people mm. that can learn like an Asian language when they're native English speakers. I think there's um an app someone told me. It's called mm -hmm. Hello Talk. I think. Oh, okay. And then you can upload stuff, and the people were correct to be like, you got this wrong. Oh, really? <laughs> is, savage. is that just for Korean? I think it's all languages. Oh, I could be wrong, but I want to do that. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Guess who's my guest? Yay! Yay. Now, can we. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on. <gasps> oh my god. This, this is be... painful. <laughs> all right, let's eat. Yes, Yay. we can officially eat. I'm so excited. Okay, so. Um, I'm like the luckiest person alive. <laughs> seriously, with you all have food. you have the best roommate because seriously. I feed you so much food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm seriously so lucky. Mm. No, I'm glad I have you to eat the food for mm. me. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Woo, I'm so mm -hmm. excited. This is the best, guys. You need to make if you have mm -hmm. a roommate or somebody you live with, make this. Together, you don't even have to have soju. Just mm. drink like vodka or something, mm. okay? <laughs> I love how you're encouraging them to drink. <laughs> yes, have fun. These are dark times. <laughs> On that note, mm. 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 this is, is that, like Korean is hot pot. Oh yeah, kind yeah. of like everything in one, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> this gigantic spoon. <laughs> I like can't even. <laughs> I used to use that for like. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try. Is this um? Are you allowed to say the brand name? Yeah, this is called Eve's. Mm. The vegan hot dog. Is it? Oh, let me, let I me love try. Mm. I was gonna be like, is it good? I I think to me it's like good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I definitely mm. think we can finish this. Mm. Well, we're gonna be drinking and eating. Yes. So guys, you're in for a long ride. <laughs> We're gonna be filming for three hours again. <laughs> Might have extra footage on the on the vlog channel, <laughs> as I did for the last video. Oh my god! But like my favorite part of that last vlog, that last mukbang uh -huh. we did, the part where we were talking Korean, mm. and I had to put subtitles. So <laughs> yeah. if you guys missed the last mukbang, which I'm sure many of you have because it was like forever long, so mm. I don't blame you for not watching. But at the very end, we were like talking for so long and we ended up randomly talking in Korean because we, we went kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, we started playing a game. So then Why? I posted that Korean section on my vlog channel. I'll link that below if you guys want to watch. And we're just like randomly talking, like nothing, <laughs> no substance to this conversation. Uh -huh. But we're speaking in Korean and I subtitled it. So I put like captions and it took me like... I think it was a 15 minute oh clip God. and it took me probably like two hours oh my to caption. Yeah. But anyways. It was so but, funny, I keep rewatching. it. <laughs> if you're ever having a bad day, it might be something, you know, I, I think it's funny, but. It's so funny. I think some people enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> it could be in our heads. <laughs> like they're so annoying. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I did discover that there's like three extra Koreans that watch my videos. Yes, they're like, oh, it's, there was, I'm yeah. here. <laughs> I mentioned that I think there's like two Korean people that watch my videos and it turns out there's like maybe three more. Maybe Inclu more will comment. <laughs> including time. my aunt. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Anyways. <sighs> it is hot. Is it hot? Yes, How are you wearing this know. sweater? I take this off. <sighs> like mukbang is like, it gets really hot when yes. you do mukbang videos. The lights are here. Guys, you have no idea what goes on behind the scenes, okay? It is a full on production. Yes. Oh. You like filming these. You can mm. eat good food. I love filming muk mukbangs. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I oh, the sausage was really good. Mm. Hot dog, right? Oh, mm. Mm. So satisfying. There's like comfort food. Mm. There's like our comfort food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do people eat? What do you guys eat for comfort food? <laughs> yeah, tell us below. Yeah, I feel like um, 
non-Asians. I was gonna say yeah. white people. <laughs> You're gonna get so much hate. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we're Asian people. There's white people. There's, there's everyone. Like you know. Yeah. It's fine. Uh huh. <laughs> I feel like I'm already getting drunk. Anyways, um, I feel like we all have different kind of comfort food. Mm -hmm. So my comfort food would be like something like this or like instant noodles, mm, something with like soup. soup. Yes, like a spice. spicy soup. Noodles. Mm. Oh, that's like my comfort food. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Guys, if you haven't tried, duck. <laughs> duck. It sounds extra weird when you say it in the middle of an English yeah. sentence. Yeah. When you're speaking English and you're like, if you haven't tried duck. It's like a random sound. <laughs> so thok in Korean, guys. So thok is rice cake. So the spicy rice cake dish that you guys might know about, it's tteokbokki. So that's where it comes from. Mm. And yeah, jjigae. So this is pude jjigae, and jjigae is stew. There you go. Another random Korean lesson nobody <laughs> yeah, asked for. I was just gonna. <laughs> I always give the random <laughs> Korean lesson nobody asked for, and that was that was it, guys. Uh, oh, I hope so you funny. appreciate it, guys. Oh god. Whew, it's hot. It's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next next assumption. Oh god. They're funny. I like them. Oh, someone says, I will assume that you are both awesome. Aww. I love people. So sweet. Thank That's you. So sweet. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> we are awesome. <laughs> the assumption is correct. <laughs> you two share clothes without asking each other. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a one-way relationship. <laughs> are you okay? Oh my god, be careful. My mom's gonna be like, why are you not moving your head? <laughs> Okay, so this is the thing. I always like tell her that she's hoarding all the time. There's just so many clothes. And then she'll go into my closet. And then I'll go to her closet. <laughs> because I don't buy that many clothes. It's right? okay. You're like my little sister. I've never had a little sister, so this is what it feels like. But then I wash it and I make it all like <laughs> look okay and then put it back. And it's like you've never even noticed that I took it. <laughs> It was like, and then I'll I don't, tell her. I don't borrow I'll your, take you it. You have nice clothes too. Yeah, Why I just borrow too clothes? many. But then I'm always like, I have nothing to wear, even though I have all these. You clothes have so many clothes. On. And then I'll borrow it, and I'll be like, by the way, I borrowed it. <laughs> I'll put it back. After the fact. <laughs> after the fact, after the fact, just like all the food yeah. that we <laughs> relates back to the question number one. Next uh, assumption: You guys believe in the Buddha? <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't. Be I don't believe in. Buddha per se. I don't, really I don't know what that even Buddha. means. I don't know what that but, means either. Um, I think that means like if we are like Buddhist or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Was Buddha a real person? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We don't know. Okay. This spirituality come from Buddha. I mean, I, th I think it comes from a lot of yeah, different. Yeah. So I don't know. That's a hard. But question I believe to in. I believe personally in like a lot of Buddhist philosophy. I don't believe in like the spiritual aspect, mm -hmm. but I believe in you know the meditations mm -hmm. and the you know kind of. The way of thinking, I like that, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily believe in the, I don't know, the Buddha, religious teachings, yeah, I yeah. guess? Yeah. What about you? Yeah, like I think I'm, I like the spiritual part of things, mm -hmm. but I really don't know the history behind, mm. like where it comes from. I was listening to an um, audiobook, it was like mm. Buddhism for busy people or something. What? Yeah, it was How interesting. Was oh, what do they talk about? Mm. Oh, about like, I don't think I finished it, but I still have it on my phone. Mm. Mm. Talks about like meditation and mm. the kind of teachings, mm. and then a little bit about the history of like Buddha and like yeah. Apparently Buddha was like this prince or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he like escaped and saw the. See, I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> I don't know. But I do like the whole like I like meditation. Mm -hmm. I like, I'm into a little bit of a spirituality, mm. but I don't know. That's like mm. if someone asked me if I believe in God, mm. maybe we shouldn't go into this topic. <laughs> Anyways, my family is super religious, but I just, I don't really know if I believe in the actual beings, mm -hmm. of, you yeah. know? So, anyways. It's more like the kind of yeah, idea of, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do a little oh, shot. Cool. I can't stop eating. <laughs> Cheers. I'm yeah. glad you like the food. It's so good. I've been feeding you for the last few days. I know. Have you been this enjoying it? Yes, I was good. just going to say, this is wearing out, wearing mm. off. Way to go. You know, we've used this like twice. I know. It's wearing <laughs> off already. <laughs> Next assumption. Let's see. You've been friends since school. So we discussed this yeah. last time. We were friends since high school. High school. And next assumption is... <laughs> you're like past. Well, I mean, we talked about it last time. So yes, you're correct. You are correct. Oh my um, God. You don't eat traditional junk food like Oreos or potato chips. <laughs> Do you guys watch our videos? <laughs> I mean, what? we do. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know if that time? was directed at me, but like Oreos, like I don't, oh, really I don't eat like Oreos. Oreos. You know, I have like a tra traumatic experience from eating oh, Oreos one time because I remember when I was very young, when I was like maybe 10 years old or something, mm. I think we were on a road trip, my mm. family and I, and I ate a bunch of Oreos and then I got really car sick mm. and I ended up like throwing up. Sorry mm. guys. I ended up throwing up when I was car and because of, you know, being car sick and eating so much Oreos. And then because of that, I didn't eat Oreos for like, I think like, well over a decade, I just like did mm. not want to eat Oreos, and then I like tasted it again. And I was like, oh, it's actually pretty good. Like after mm. like a long time, but then I don't really, I still don't really eat Oreos. But oh. chips, oh. like we discussed oh. last time, what ketchup do we like? Chips, <laughs> ketchup mm. chips, mm -hmm. they're the best. Mm -hmm. I can't control my stomach <laughs> if I have them. Um, I can literally, I can finish a bag <laughs> in one sitting. Here's it all. Mm -hmm. I swear they don't put that much in, in a bag. Mm, they don't. To begin with, so good. So we try not to buy them because yeah, we will eat it. <laughs> but yeah, like last video, I'm I you eat like more to junk emotionally? Food. <laughs> I'm an emotional eater. <laughs> There's something about junk food. Junk food is good. Mm -hmm. But this is why I try not to keep it in the house because when I have it in the house, yeah. I eat it so much. Yeah. <laughs> My rice. Oh my! Are you done already? I'm running out. You have to. You have to, what is the word I'm looking, you have to ration. Myself? You have to ration. Mm. <laughs> There's not enough. Whew. Oh, is it spicy? Out? No, no, no. I burned my tongue. Yeah, it's quite hot, guys. People yeah. ask, people ask when I do like these, these mukbang videos. Because mm -hmm. you know how I eat, like we eat from this like hot, you know, thing. Mm -hmm. People are like, how do you eat from like such a hot, you know? Mm. Don't you burn your tongue? I feel like this is also a Korean thing. Yeah. We maybe. always eat, like I almost feel like we always have to eat food that is like almost, like we're gonna burn Burning. our- Burning. <laughs> <laughs> we burn our tongues all yeah. the time. Like I always burn my mouth and a little like, bit. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but it's like, this is how you eat. Mm -hmm. So in like a Korean bar or something like we, I feel like this is my random theory that has no scientific proof. <laughs> but I feel like Korean people have maybe stronger immune systems because we always like share each other's germs. Oh, <laughs> why do you say that they have stronger immune systems though? I don't know, look at uh, COVID-19, okay? Look that's okay, they developed an app, they were more efficient. Yeah, that's in true. But I think, I think it's partially because we also have strong immune system. They've never been in, in lockdown. They've never been in full lockdown. Mm, that's and, true. But also it's because they wear masks. Okay, so my yeah. theory might not be correct. Yeah. This is just my random, also I think the garlic, we mm. eat a lot of I was garlic. Really the same. But then Italians the eat a lot of garlic. Oh. I am sweating. It is Hope hot. you guys can see. You can't. You can't see the sweat. Um, <clears throat> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> this gigantic spoon. How do you eat with this? <laughs> How did you eat with this? I don't know. I just like shoved oh everything in my mouth. <laughs> I like mm. tofu. This mm. rice noodle is good too. Mhm. Mm it's gluten free. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Not that we care. Mhm. Mm <laughs> mm. mm. Okay, we're gonna have to do another shot in it a little bit. This is already like halfway gone. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> People are always like, how do you guys eat so much? <laughs> oh. That's just normal. Like Korean restaurants? Maybe it's because we're all sharing. Mm. Like you don't have your individual portion of everything. Mm. They just like keep eating. Yeah. Until the last bit is gone. And I hate wasting food. Mm. So I'm like, gotta eat that. Yeah. When, <laughs> when there's food in front of me, I have to eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. I feel bad wasting it. Mm -hmm. I never really, like I'll cook something and I rarely throw food out. Mm. But then recently I cooked this curry <laughs> and I thought I was being all fancy being like, I'm cheap, lazy vegan and like put all this stuff. Was it even vegan? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, the spices and I was like putting coconut milk in there and all the stuff and it ended up being really, really bad. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that bad, but it's just like I had to actually throw it out. It was just not. Rude. I know. That was it that bad? Time. I was like, I actually couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like the first time maybe like throwing out, maybe not the first time, but like <sighs> intentionally like throwing out yeah. food because I didn't want to eat it anymore. If it wasn't, if it was vegan, I probably could have mm. tried to save it mm. because I, I also don't like wasting food. Mm. Uh, I don't know. When I was like growing up, my parents always were like, don't waste even a grain of rice. Mm. <laughs> Basically, when our parents were young, Korea was like pretty poor. Mm. So they kind of, they grew up in a different, you know, time. Yeah. So they, you know, saw a different Koreas where food wasn't as, 
readily available. Mm. So I think a lot of people in our parents' generation don't like to waste food. Mm. So they're very like, don't waste food. So then when I moved to, I don't know about you, but when I moved to Canada, I was like shocked at the amount of mm. food kids were wasting. Mm -hmm. I'd be in school and kids would just throw away their lunch, throw away their apples, and I'm just yeah. like, oh. yeah. my, my parents would literally beat me. <laughs> if I, they'd be like, they would like not. Tough love. Yes. Yeah, but it's true. My dad always shares stories too. He's like, I had to go pick my own food. Like he had to go mm -hmm. like find his own food. And mm -hmm. yeah, there's so many um, sad stories. Yeah. This is why we eat a lot because <laughs> don't want to waste food. It's okay. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Good food. Mm -hmm. What else does your dad tell you about his childhood? Mm. Does he tell you stories? A lot of stuff. Mm. Yeah, like how they. Well, they didn't eat meat. Eat meat much because mm, right when they were back in that time, meat was very rare mm. and expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um. My dad had five sisters mm. and one brother, mm. and they'd like all share a room or something. Mm. And in Korea, people used to like always yeah. sleep on the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even I think when I was young, like mm -hmm. we would just share a room. Yeah. They were probably happier at that time, though, in terms of like just overall. Right. Because they're I'm all sure. just like, you know, close together. Yeah. The yeah. family love. The family unit is I remember much, yeah. taking baths with my brothers when I was young. Mm. Now that I think about it, I'm like, that's kind of weird. But I it's not weird. We are young and... You're young. It's true. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. changed a lot, our generation, mm -hmm. for sure. Jen. Jen. Oh, that's another way to say cheers. Jen. Jen. That's also a weird, Jen. weird way to say... <laughs> Oh, another Imagine. thing etiquette is like turning away. Oh, right. So especially if you, again, if you are younger than the mm. person, mm. it's like polite to turn mm. and not drink in front of them. I don't mm. know where these things came from, okay? I All I know is that if you pour yourself like your own drink, yeah, then the person across from you will be single for three years. <laughs> Did you not hear about this? No! You didn't know about this? I think that's a made Well, I mean, it's obviously it's made it's up. Obvious but like, made up. it seems like a modern made up yeah. thing. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's like, don't pour yourself uh, a drink because the person next, I mean, across from you will be single for three years. Mm. Does that mean it's our audience? If we do it collectively? <laughs> it's like the, the, our entire audience? <laughs> You're single for three years. <sighs> Should we go to the next assumption? Yes. What, what's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm sad because I'm running out of rice. One of you snores while sleeping. <laughs> I definitely do. I know that for a fact. I don't snore. Do you snore? Oh, do you mm -hmm. not snore? No. Damn I, it, I don't Angela. have sleeping habits. I know it's kind of boring. No, that's so good. Habits. I wish I didn't snore. I definitely snore. Oh, God. Um, like loud? It depends. Do you if ever I, wake yourself up? From no, snoring? <laughs> I've never. I've never done that. I never know that I'm sn snoring, <laughs> but I definitely know that I mm. snore. Mm. I do have a sleeping habit. What's your sleeping habit? I twitch sometimes. I think that's normal. Really? Doesn't everybody? Really? Mm -hmm. Like wake yourself up from mm. twitching sometimes. Oh, you wake yourself up sometimes. Mm. When I'm like when I twitch really bad. Like Why do bad. people twitch? I need to Google this. I don't know. It's like a muscle spasm, mm. maybe. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you are both independent and would only have a man because you want one, never because you need one. <laughs> what do you think, Angela? How do I answer this? <laughs> I don't know. Answer it in. Um, I've always been in relationships. So <laughs> but were you in relationships because you needed a man or because? Not really. I feel like well, I maybe feel like I just maybe like before the feeling you did. Of, before I did. Like in the past, I feel like not need, but I think I just really crave for that like love feeling. Mm -hmm. I, I was always used to that and mm -hmm. I've always really liked the, it's like a different kind of feeling that you get from, like compared to a feeling that you would get from a friendship or your family. So yeah. it's kind of like a different feeling. I think I really like being loved and like loving someone. So, so yeah, I guess deep. it's like, oh, I'm going very deep. Um, but yeah, that's like, that's probably the main reason. And I used to in the past, if I met someone, then I would always like focus on their positive traits. So that's how I like fall really fast because it's just like I choose to ignore all their negative sides and then mm. just focus on their good sides. And it's like, oh, like this person's so nice because of all this and like we have a good connection. And then that's how I get into a relationship. But yeah, but now it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm working towards finding my own, mm. you know, mm -hmm. self and yeah. I do want to say I'm pretty independent though. I'm, like, I'm not like really needy. It's gotten much better. Mm -hmm. 
You for definitely sure. gotten very independent mm -hmm. compared to before. Mm -hmm. That's true. I've always been very independent, mm -hmm. <laughs> almost too independent. But yeah, I've been, I've been, I've, I've always been very independent. Mm. And um, I definitely don't need a man. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> get into this. Forever don't want to be... Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> what? I want, of course, I want, uh, you know, companionship, mm. but it would, it wouldn't be just because, fuck, I'm getting drunk, guys. <laughs> it wouldn't be just because I am it. lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. everyone feels lonely, Yeah. but I think I am very good at being independent. <laughs> yeah. You guys almost always get along as roommates and there aren't any big problems. That's true. Yeah, we've never had big issues. Really. Oh my god, this one's funny. Oh. Angela is an academic achiever while Rose loves to cut classes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean, cut classes? As in like, I am I ditch classes and I don't oh, go to, like, like I'm, actual school. Like, I'm like a bad school <laughs> person and you're like, you're like the nerd. That's the assumption. No, definitely not. I think uh, I was actually pretty nerdy in yeah, school. Yeah, <laughs> and I was not. <laughs> actually, it was the opposite. Yeah. Through um, junior high, I was pretty smart. Like, I really tried. <laughs> but in grade 12, in the States, is it grade 12? Like 10, 11, 12? Yeah. Anyways, in high school. I'm like really embarrassed to admit this, but in grade 12, I was like in love with this guy. Like he's like my first love, pretty much. Do -do -do -do. So anyways, and then he like started dating this girl in my class. This isn't grade 12. This is grade like nine. Oh, Grade 12 is high school. Are you? Fuck! <laughs> I'm like so bad on the timeline. <laughs> it's grade 9. Mm hmm. I skipped so many classes because I didn't want to see them together. Because mm. you start dating a girl like in the class. I think back then you go to all these different subjects like science, mm -hmm. like math, like all these different topics or different subject classes. But you have the same people in your class. We have the same people yeah. in your class, right? So then it's like, I don't want to see them. So then I like started skipping a lot of classes. I was so, I was actually really smart. Up but to, you, <laughs> you screwed it up. And I screwed For it up. a guy. For a guy. <laughs> I'm so sad. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if I tried, you know, I'd be okay. <laughs> but I was definitely not a nerd. Sure. <laughs> nerd up until then. Nerd until then? Mm -hmm. You think? Mm -hmm. uh, until yeah. like junior high, yeah, like grade like, nine? In grade seven, I was like, I had like honors. Like mm -hmm. I was like really, really smart. Mm. Yeah. Because I actually tried really hard. So this assumption is opposite. It's opposite. That's so funny. Angela cut classes. I did not. <laughs> I do not cut classes because in our high school, do you remember there was like a thing called, it wasn't Dean's List, but it was like, um, it was like some kind of reward that you would get for attending class. So if you attended, if you had like almost perfect attendance, hmm. then you could either skip your final exam or there was some kind of reward, okay? And I remember I like pretty much got that mm. <laughs> every semester because I was like, the reward was very good. If you go to every class, then mm. you get some sort of, yeah, you get to skip the final exam or mm. something. Mm -hmm. And so I went to pretty much every single class, never nice. skipped a class, always got Dean's List. Mm -hmm. I'm a nerd, guys, proud nerd. That's good. I was always like admiring. No, I oh. like admired you because she's like party hard <laughs> and then she like would study and now she could get oh, good God. grades. And I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> do you like stay up all night? I feel like I also have this like image that I'm like, not smart. <laughs> Why? Because I remember when I was in university, because yeah, I used to party quite a bit as well. Mm. So especially in university, I would party a lot, but I still like wanted to get good grades and stuff. So I would try to find that balance. I still like studied and mm. like, you know, worked hard. But then there was, I think there was like some Korean person I knew from like maybe the bar or something. And I was like, oh yeah, so like in, in uni and they'd be like, you're in university? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> They're like, I had no idea you were in university. <laughs> oh god! I was like, I don't know if I should take this as a compliment or an insult. <laughs> like, I was like, do I look that stupid? Mm, but you're so smart. Oh god, I'm not that smart. I'm just. Didn't you graduate with honors? I did graduate yeah, with honors. See? I know. Thanks, guys. I'm smart. <laughs> this is my proof. <laughs> oh wait, let's do a cheers mm. and drink the rest of this. How much have we drank mm. so far? We have drank. Wow, almost. Almost done. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. I'm so sad that this is. Oh my god, we're doing. Come on. <laughs> what was your worst like assumption that you got? Mm. You received. I don't. I don't remember. Past? There was nothing terrible. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, someone was like. Last time I did this, it was like. 
a couple years ago or maybe really? last year. Wow. Maybe last year when we lived at the other place. Really? I thought you do that. No. Oh, I guess you don't do that. But it was like, you are very single. <laughs> What does it even mean? Very single. Like so I'm alone. Like, like I'm. You've like never I'm had single forever. <laughs> like, and then I just laughed and didn't respond. <laughs> Angela is a cat person and Rose is a dog person. This is so funny. <laughs> well, I'm wow. definitely not a cat person, so I'm you are not correct. A cat person either. We're both dog people. We are. I'm scared of cats. I'm sorry. Are you scared of cats? Yeah. I think it depends though. <clears throat> if a cat is cuddly. Mm. Like kittens, that I'm okay with, but mm. I think it's because like... Have you had a traumatic experience? Not really, but every time I meet a cat, they're very, um... Mm. Like hissy. Mm. And I get scared when their eyes get like this. Mm. You know what I mean? When their pupils get really small? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but I heard cats can be very cuddly and sweet. Mm -hmm. I've just never had one. I feel like if I had my own, that would be a different story. Mm -hmm. But it's like meeting just, you know, random cats. Yeah. I have like no hate towards cats. I'm just more of a cats dog person. definitely have like a different personality uh -huh. to dogs, and we're so used to dog personalities. Mm -hmm. Like I'm so used to dogs, mm -hmm. but it is nice when like a cat kind of shows their affection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. like when you're like, oh my god, I feel like I've earned your love. <clears throat> right. mm -hmm. Whereas like a dog will just love you no matter what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas a cat, it's like you have to earn their love. But it's yes. like when dogs come to you when you open the oh, door. And they're so like, sweet. They're you know? like, they're just like a ball of joy. Right. You know. Yeah, it can't, you can't replace them. And then that. when they're quiet, I was like, what's wrong? Cats are much more low maintenance than dogs, so they're like easier to take care of, but, okay. but dogs are just so loyal and... They're so sweet. We we'll love you. you miss that, Nutty? Mm-hmm. Mm. I miss Nutty so much. Mm, so cute. She's so crazy, I miss mm -hmm. her. I obtained a bunch of photos of Nadi's um, siblings mm. that we saw when they were young. And when they were young, they all kind of looked similar a little bit. Mm. But now, like, a lot of them look... They all kind of look very different from mm. each other. It's interesting. Isn't she like a German Shepherd mix? Because someone did like a DNA test or whatever. How does that work? I don't know how that works. <laughs> really. So yeah, one of them definitely looked like a German Shepherd yeah. mix. Yeah, yeah. And was much bigger than Nadi. Mm-hmm. But I don't think Nadi looks anything like a German no. Shepherd. So I don't know how that works. I need to do a dog DNA test. Mm, yeah, Please send me you your favorites. <laughs> I live in Canada, so it has to be Canadian, you know, approved. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes, do it. It'd be interesting to see. Yum! Yeah. Are you enjoying this? Mm hmm I'm so sad. Why are you so sad? Because you don't have rice? No, it's because it's to the it's end. It's almost gone. Yeah, it's almost gone. Now you know how I feel when mm -hmm. I finish mukbang. Oh, God. I'm full, but mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this. Mm. Mm. Please. Mm. God, we finished this already. No! What oh, are you what? doing? I hold! <laughs> Done. Done. <sighs> this is actually so smooth. I'm so shocked. I really like this. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> Wait, oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Wishful assumption that I know is not true, but have to say it. You are a secret lesbian couple. <laughs> Guys, you figured it out. Finally. That is the truth. <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> Why do you think we live together? <laughs> That's so funny. so funny. Why is that a wishful assumption? Is this a dude? I don't know. Is this Without a, dude? a dude? Probably. Why do lesbians turn the men on? Men on? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to this topic. I don't know why. <laughs> mm. It's because like women's body is. I mean, women are like attractive. They're very beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was always curious. Mm. We're um. Definitely not lesbians. We're both straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like men too much. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, we both. <laughs> we both like men. <laughs> you both love social gatherings. True. Oh yeah, I think that's yeah, true. Definitely. So we're are we both suffering right now? <laughs> yeah. Wow, we actually like. I'm pretty amazed at us, but also not. I knew. I knew we could be sure. Wow, you guys so mean. Angela wants to dye her hair too. Do you, Angela? Not really. I don't have a <laughs> desire to. Brightest I've ever gone is I actually have one of those um, balayage when it goes from dark to light. Mm. You had that before? Yeah, mm. remember? Like two years ago. But no, I don't really have a desire. Mm. Even though I grow a lot of white hair though. Like naturally, I have so many white hair. Mm, I also get white hair. 
Really? Yeah. Like when I curl my hair now. I don't see uh, white hair though. I pull them. Yeah, I don't. I think that's a myth. When it you pull it, it is a myth. Like when you pull it, you get like you get three more or something. Yeah, it's two definitely or three a more. It's definitely a myth. So like, what I do now these days, I'll like curl my hair. The only times I'll curl my hair is like when I'm doing this or <laughs> yeah, like not often. But I curl my hair on the wand. Like you'll see a strand. Of, like I can see it in the mirror. So then I'll see like a piece of white hair. I'm like, okay, I need to uncurl this and then pull. It. I get so. How many do you actually annoyed. get? Though? You must not get that many though. I do. Do you? Mm -hmm. How many? Okay, so in a one curling session, how many would you pull out? So like, let's say that I'm grabbing like like this much to curl. Yeah, I probably see maybe one or two or even three. I mean, they're not that many, but I'm just being OCD mm. and you know mm -hmm. being picky. I can't just ignore it. I get it from my dad. The white hairs. Yeah. 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 And I don't know if stress actually causes white hair. I don't know. I think maybe. Mm. Actually, I don't know. We should probably look to that. But all I know is that for sure, pulling them out doesn't cause mm. extra. Mm. Like that, I've heard it is complete myth. Mm. So go. you can pull it out. <laughs> How often do you dye your hair? I sometimes touch up the color because this is like semi-permanent color mm. that I put on top of bleached hair. Mm. So I'll I'll sometimes touch it up with the semi-permanent color, mm. but um, once my roots grow out, I have to bleach the roots. Mm. And that I probably do it once every like, I don't know, a few months. Mm. Once like the root, but like, I don't really mind a few, a little bit of yeah. root, so it's fine. It's like an ombre. But, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> But I kind of want to go back to red. What do you think? Do it. I like to with red. Yeah, maybe. I was Wait. thinking like I might get bored during this quarantine and just oh God. go back Bye to red. Guys. Okay, Bye. red. Do you want to finish oh, that? Okay. See, that's another etiquette. You have to finish it before I start filling it. I don't know why that's a thing. I'll just pour it for myself. It doesn't matter. No. <laughs> I'm going to be single for the <laughs> No, I don't know. Oh. Well, no, you're pouring it for yourself. Oh. I have to hold it. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Fun fact. Six. So these bottles of soju apparently one bottle can fit seven shots mm -hmm. so i think wait let me think let me think i think, let me so. think. I think it is seven yes so they make you like buy so, more. yes <laughs> so the tactic okay you gotta hold it okay i'm sorry so the tactic so this is like a mark apparently it's a marketing tactic because if one bottle has seven shots if you're drinking with one other person so fill mine up please oh <laughs> Logistically, this is not very efficient. <laughs> no, it's not. Why um, are we doing this? Okay. So let's do. Let's drink. Marketing strategy. Yeah, yeah let's sorry, drink I first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have to do this? Yes. Anyway, mm -hmm. so one bottle contains seven shots. I mean, if you're drinking alone, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> You mm -hmm. could drink whatever, but if you're drinking <laughs> with one other person, let's say you're drinking with, let, let's say it's two people, like me and Angela right now. If one bottle contains seven shots, you can't just have one bottle because it's uneven, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then if there's three people, also you can't just have one bottle because mm -hmm. there's one extra. So you gotta have more. Mm. If there's four people, again, it's uneven. You gotta have another one. Five people, yeah. you gotta have another one. So it's a very smart marketing tactic. Mm. I don't know if people made this up, but I read it somewhere and I was like, that's very interesting. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you are going to, going to create a liqueur, make sure that it contains seven shots. <gasps> it's mathematical equation <laughs> to sell more. <laughs> There's like a specific mm. shot glass as well for mm, soju. Right. We're almost done this. Ma, people are going to be like, how did you finish this? Guys, were I'm you so starving? <laughs> I was actually starving. <laughs> God, I'm so hungry. Mm. I feel like I'm constantly hungry. You don't eat that much though. Yeah, I just feel like I'm just, I feel like I eat. I don't know. Not that much. What did you eat today? Mm. Smoothie? <laughs> mm -mm. And a toast. That's it. And some snacks. And That's a cookie. Why. Yeah, I was starving. <laughs> but normally I eat more than that. Today was just, I had to get some work done. I've been eating later in the day. Mm, can't so. relate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like naturally just intermittent fasting. Mm, can't relate. <laughs> How did your intermittent fasting go when you did it? I it was fine. Video. Do you it, think that it's sustainable though? On some level. I can't do it ever perfectly. Mm. That's the thing. It's like with intermittent fasting, if you don't do it perfectly, I wonder if it's like that effective. Right. You know what I mean? So, so what if you miss a day or two? 
you know? Yeah, that's like the on the which I always did at that mm -hmm. time, and I never, I never tried to do it perfectly. Mm. So like when I did intermittent fasting, I would, yeah, I would do like the weekdays, mm. and it'd be fine. Like it wasn't terrible, cause like I, I would eat at like 11 and mm. then stop eating at like seven. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like you don't really notice anything just uh. because, cause obviously I wanted to do it for weight loss, <laughs> right? At that time, anyways. Right. Um, so I don't know. Mm. And I just like, I don't like the fact that you have to do it for 16 hours or like, there's like that time period where mm -hmm. people set it. People set like, what is it? 16, 8? I, I think that's like the minimum. Minimum. Yeah. Yeah. That's like so the, just like, yeah. Cause I was doing 16, 8 and I couldn't, right. I don't understand how people do like do 20 hours and like four hours of eating. Some people will fast for 24 hours <sighs> and then it. will eat the next day and then fast for another 24 hours. I'm like, oh, why do you do that? No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm. I think I would go crazy. Mm. I think I would just be so unbalanced right. because every day, the days I'm eating, I'd be like, woohoo, I can eat whatever. Yeah. And then I would just stuff myself. And then the next day I'd be miserable. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let really? me know guys. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have experience with this? Cause I don't think I could ever do it. <clears throat> is that called, what is it called, OMAD? Time OMAD time? is like one meal a day. Mm -hmm. So that's OMAD. Mm -hmm. And that's when people eat one meal a day, which I don't understand that either. No. But you'd have to like stuff in like so many calories in just one meal. I mean, we could probably do it, but. <laughs> But I would get hungry also because I think that would stretch my stomach. That's another thing. I feel like if you're not active, then it's fine. But it's like if you're working out and being active, mm -hmm. you're just, I don't know. No, I'd have to eat. So I don't know, guys. Just eat a balanced, normal diet. You'll be when fine. Your body craves. <laughs> Whatever. Just do you. Just do you. Try to eat healthy most of the time. Yes. And try not to eat crap most of the time. Yes. And it's 80 20. <laughs> Is that the rule? For me, it's 80-20. What are you doing, Angela? <laughs> are we showing another drinking game? Well, I can't help it. I was looking at the lid. I'm being really easily distracted this video. I was just looking at the lid and I want to twist it because the Koreans, we twist this. And why do we twist it, Angela? And then, so this is another drinking game <laughs> where, <laughs> where oh, you go around and each person flicks it. When the person flicks it off. What is this, Angela? It's the soju lid. It's the soju lid. Mm -hmm. I'm drunk. <laughs> Give me the other, where's the other one? Okay, so this is the lid, okay? It came from the soju bottle. Mm -hmm. So when you take it off, it has this like tail, okay? It's very People random. know that it's a lid. This is obviously a lid. This is how we uh, live together, guys. <laughs> it's our friendship. <laughs> you twist. So the game is that, well, there's a couple games. The one game that you could play if there's more than two people, okay? So if you're drinking soju, there's always a number at the, you can't see it because it's very, very faint. Mm -hmm. But there's always a number at the this part of the lid. It's very faint, but you'll see it. It's usually a number between one and a hundred, I think. You but, flick it first. I mean, yeah, you can yeah. do two games. There's yeah. two different games yeah. you can play. So the one that Angela is showing is a different game to the one that I'm talking about. <laughs> so the one that I'm talking about is the number game where basically the person that looks at it, they look at the number. So this one is 37. And the everyone would go around saying like a number between one and a hundred. So you would say like 17. <laughs> And I'd be like, higher. And then someone would be like, 80. And I'd be like, lower. And whoever guesses it, what happens? Do they have to drink or do the people around them have to drink? I think they have to drink. Um. Yep, you have to finish explaining this game. Oh. The flipping, Where flipping was I? game. Oh. So yeah, you go around. Each person flicks it. And the person, is it the right person? Whoever's next to them. No, I think yeah, the person. Left and right. Has mm. to drink. It could be both, or I think you just decide at that time. Should we play? Oh god, this is like surprisingly hard to flick, it guys. Is hard. So it looks like this. We'll start with yours. I think I twisted mine really good, though, so it might not take long. Okay, I'm gonna start. Oh, what the mother? <laughs> what did you do? You just twisted it. Okay, give me a shot. Uh, I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is not how you're supposed to do it, guys. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to drink this all? Yes. No, that's too much. Yeah. No, do it. It's just one <sighs> shot. I'm so full. God. Hey. I like this so much. It's so smooth. Oh, I'm never doing that one full shot again. Oh, but it's too much. Okay, so this is how you actually play this game. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> it might take a while. Or maybe you'll just get it. You didn't twist this enough. I know, but that's the point. No, that's too, like, okay, fine. you need to twist it a little bit more. Okay, fine, I twisted it more. Oh. 
Why are you so scared? I feel like you're gonna flick no, my beautiful face. I'm not gonna flick Wait, your I face. did. That doesn't count. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. It's okay. Oh god. <gasps> I suck at flicking this too. Oh, it's almost. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> okay, half, please, half. Half. I can't drink it all. Why? You can. I can't drink it all. I'll give you three quarters. <laughs> I like evil. <laughs> Do it. Yay. People. Mashara, mashara. Mashara. Oh, that's mashara. another Korean thing. Yeah. Mashara is mashara like, drink means up. drink. Drink up. Mashara. 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 Is that how it goes? Mm-hmm. Suri dragon Mashara. 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 Suri dragon Wow, we did so well. What's your favorite food? Korean food. It's hard to say exact. Like a favorite food. Like one, one food that like... you could eat. If you were to choose one food that you'd have to eat for the rest oh. of your life. That's so hard. I think I know what. You know? You answer yours. I know oh. what yours is. What is it? Instant noodles. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Definitely <Okay>. not. <laughs> I would for sure get sick of instant noodles quickly if I ate it if every If you day. had all the different kinds of instant noodles. No. I Definitely think I would get sick of it every day. If I had it every day, I would get sick of it. Oh, I don't know what I would eat every day. Mine would be like, like it's I want to say sushi, but also I want something Korean, so yeah. I'm not sure. I could definitely eat sushi every day. I feel like I could eat this every day. Yeah. And put like different ingredients in. Yeah, I mean, I guess this, because you can put yeah. whatever you want in there. But like same sauce. Mm hmm. I can eat rice every day, which I pretty much do. I'm oh, so like. So drunk. I can't talk. <laughs> It's okay, you were talking like this before when you weren't drunk. That's so. true. If I could have sushi every day mm. and also have some kind of Korean meal every day, mm. then I think I would be very mm. satisfied. Oh god. But That's also I would miss pasta. You know, so there's I can't pick one, guys. It's impossible. Why That's would you why I asked you a hard question? It's supposed to be a hard question. Well, why would you put such a fucking <laughs> terrible scenario at me? There's a world full of food. What about if you had to choose a man? There's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm one wondering where this is going. Man, he is Super smart. I need a drink for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay, well, apparently we're abandoning the rules of Korean. <laughs> I've just taught them so well, and you're just ruining it. This is more comfortable. Let me just do it. Guys, you're I gonna be single for three years. years. <laughs> you're all gonna be single for three years. <laughs> oh, God. I definitely feel like I'm drunk. Well, I'm not gonna put Why this... are you not pouring it for me? I thought you were gonna pour your own. Okay, I'll pour my own. <laughs> now you're definitely gonna be single for three years. Okay, so anyways, a smart, witty yeah. man that's really nice. But ugly? Yeah, but it was like not attractive. And then okay. there's a man who's very, very attractive, who's also vegan. Let's say okay, why are you adding all these <laughs> You're making this very complicated. Okay, later. Okay, on. so okay. smart, witty, okay. not attractive. Not vegan. Not vegan. Okay. And then there is very good looking, <laughs> vegan. Not smart. Not smart. I feel like you're lost at your own <laughs> yeah. scenario. Okay, no, no. Let me. Smart, funny, witty, not vegan, not attractive. Yeah. Not smart, not funny, but not witty. Very boring, good looking, but vegan. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like seeing your reactions, that's why I ask you these hard questions. I think I would pick the... I think I would prefer the smart, not mm -hmm. vegan, mm -hmm. because I think there's hope to turn them <laughs> vegan. Oh! Yes. If they're smart, funny, and witty... Mm -hmm. I, but unattractive, you're missing the unattractive Yeah, but I, you, can, you can find an attraction from someone that's not, like, physically attractive. If they True. had a good personality. If everything else in their personality was good, mm. and just their looks, I mean, okay, it also depends on like <laughs> how how bad it is. Okay, I always There's say like this. A, I always say like There's I a need spectrum. to be, yeah, I need to like be able to picture myself kissing. Yes. <laughs> you were a mermaid that grew legs and is now living as a human. Oh my god, <laughs> guys, that's is so my hair? Sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Do I look more like a mermaid with green hair or with the red hair? I think green. Yeah. Yeah. But the red is like aerial, you know? I think it's because like red a lot of people have. So that ah. is rare. Yeah. So green is like the sea, the color mm. of the ocean. 
Ah. Last bit. Pour the rest. Oh. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to. It's not a long walk to the office. Cheers. Cheers. Last, Last shot, part. guys. What does that mean, Angela? I had a good meal. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like what people say after they eat mm -hmm. a meal. Kind of like, I enjoy this meal or There's that no was a English good meal. There's no English saying of that, eh? Usually you say it to the person that made the meal. Thanks for the food. Kind of. It's kind of like yeah. thanks But it's food. not, that's not the direct translation, mm. but it's kind of like thanks for the food, mm. yeah. Tari me that just means like I ate very well. Mm. That's the direct translation, mm. but it would probably mean more like Thank you for the food. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the food. Why? Is that weird? That's another Korean lesson that nobody asked. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna wrap this up because Angela is very drunk. Mm -hmm. Why am I so drunk? I don't know. I'm like not that drunk. Really? Like not really. Last time, were you drunk? Not that drunk. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I'm drunk. Oh, it's because I didn't eat that much today. Oh, yeah, because like I'm so full, so I'm not like mm. super drunk. I'm full, but I maybe it's because I didn't eat much today. All right, guys, so lesson learned. Must eat before yes. you drink. Eat properly, people. Eat properly. Yes. yes. Well-balanced diet. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. Let me know down below what your thoughts were if you enjoyed it. And give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!